Today let us see how we can import an existing account into our sum wallet in read only mode and then change it to full access mode. So I'll click on this switch account which is present at the top right corner and click on add account and then the second option which is to import an existing account and I'll select read only mode as you can upgrade a read only account to a full access account later on. So why would you import an account in read only mode? Maybe it's your hardware wallet or paper wallet or your savings account where you don't intend to spend your XRP or any other issued currencies. Maybe it's an organization's wallet wherein you receive donations and multiple people handle it and you just want to know the balance of it. So in such cases, it's always good to import it in read-only mode because in this case you don't need any of your private keys or anything so you can access any of the public addresses using this read-only mode because it's already in the public domain so why not so in that case if you have any use case for that just import it in read-only mode so I'll click the next button you could simply place your cursor here and type your public address or the R address or else if you have a QR code simply click on this scan icon and hover over the QR code which has the R address. In my case I have the R address in QR code format so I'll simply click this scan icon inside my sum wallet and, and hover over the QR code which fetches the R address impressive right so click next and give it a name that's it so that's how you import a public address or our address into your sum wallet in read only mode this account isn't active so i'll show you how to activate that as well i'll just enter the r address or the public address and leave this destination tag empty because it's a non-custodial account and you don't have destination tag. So I'll send 21 XRP to my account. So 20 XRP will be reserve, account reserve and 1 XRP will be spendable balance and I have explained all the thing in, a, in another video link to which is present in the description section of this YouTube video. So please go and watch it if you don't know uh, why we need to send at least 20 XRP for the first transaction. So since this is a read only account, you don't find any options to send payment. You can't even return. There's no option at all because it's read only and you have not imported your secret keys using which you can sign a transaction. But this account is a full access account. So it has send and request uh, buttons. So as you can see, this is read only mode and this is in full access mode. Now let's convert this hardware wallet account from read only to full access mode. So let's click on settings, accounts. And as you can see the label demo account is full access account and hardware wallet is read only. So click on hardware wallet, select this access level, which is read only as of now and select full access and to upgrade you will have to import your private keys so private keys are of three types uh, the secret keys which involves eight rows of six digits or else a family seed which starts from s like your r address which starts with r and a mnemonic which is 12 16 or 24 words a secret so i have family seed which starts with s and i also have corresponding qr code so i'll just click on the uh, scanning icon inside my sum wallet and hover over it hover over the QR code which fetches the family seed so click next here you can select the security level needed for your account these are self-explanatory I'll just select the standard one and now go to accounts and as you can see your hardware wallet has full access so now you will get send and receive options and you can sign request and do whatever the XRP ledger allows you to do and which the sum wallet supports. Thanks for watching.